No, the year that I started working, God, what was it? It seems so long ago, I don't remember. But that's okay, I don't remember what I did yesterday either, so I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to remember, I, I don't really remember the first project either, but there were some memorable ones back when I was trying to learn how to do any of this stuff, you know? 40 freaking years, Steve. That's a long time. That's a long time, 40 years. Steve, Steve don't even look that old. I, I wonder how long he's gonna keep going. You know, he, what is he, what is he, 75? He never had any hair, I don't think. He was probably born, well, I'm sure he was born bald. I don't think he's ever changed. He hasn't changed. He hasn't changed since I started. No, he's, what, 60, 60, I think, 61, something like that, 62. I don't know how long he's going to go because he doesn't seem any different today than he did 20 years ago. That's crazy, 40 years. That's 40 years Steve Andrews working here. That's, that's crazy. 40 years, man. I'm only 44, so 40 years seems like a whole lifetime. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, I can believe he's been here 40 years. He's got a lot of experience and a lot of knowledge and worked on a lot of different stuff. What can I say about old Midnight? He is, he's one of my favorite people in the world. Well, yeah, everybody knows Steve as Midnight. You say Midnight and everybody knows you're talking about Steve. That's the first time we had a light plant. And, and I don't know, who brought it? I think Max brought it. David, I think, was telling me Steve Andrews brought it. We're working, it's getting dark, the sun's starting to go down, and we're all thinking, oh, yay, we can go home, we can go back to the hotel and sleep. And you kind of look, it's like, what the hell's he pulling in? What's behind that truck? What the hell? You know? <laughs> we're not going home. So, you know, it had to be Steve Andrews because he, uh, he has the reputation of just working, okay, well, it's dark, whatever, turn the lights on, let's go. So I'm thinking it was Steve that had that, that brought that light plant. When I started at 19, Steve was six years older. He was an old man, he was, you know, I mean, I was just a young, bucket-ass kid. He was always fast-paced, scrambled, um, just do whatever it takes to get the job done. You know, would stay late and get it done. Uh, it didn't matter, you would think that there's no way we're gonna get these poured, you know, because they the hole wouldn't be ready. We would show up and they wouldn't even have it excavated. And, and you're thinking, we're gonna have to cancel this. Oh no, we'd stay at it. We always seem to make it. I don't ever remember canceling. I hired on as, as an intern um, and, and started working on the Jornell project. I rode up to the job site with Steve every single day. <laughs> One morning when we were driving up, we were passing around Deer Creek around the spillway that Scott did. And uh, he sees this deer and doesn't slow down or nothing and just, <laughs> just takes it out. And it flew over the truck, landed behind the trailer. And so I was kind of half awake, you know, woke up, was like, man, what the heck? And, and he looks at me and he goes, yeah, that one's dead. We don't need to stop for that one. We left early in the morning, probably four o'clock in the morning, driving in a blizzard, and I think there was three of us in the cab of that truck, and Steve's driving well, 90 miles an hour in the blizzard. Sure enough, off the road we go, down across, down off the bar pit, into the ditch. There's snow and sagebrush branches and flying over the windshield. He doesn't even back off. He just keeps his foot into it, hammers down, and back up on the road we go. And it's just nothing phases him. He didn't even, the rest of us are wanting to pull over and check our shorts, you know, and Steve's just driving up, no big deal. Didn't, didn't phase him at all. And, that, and that's how work's always been for him. It doesn't matter what's in his way, it just doesn't phase him. He just goes at it, gets it done. If you don't, if you don't get to learn about Steve, a lot of the stuff, like when he sits there and he, he, he says something, it may seem rude as hell, but if you don't come back with something rude back to him, you lost. He tries to act like such a hard ass. I mean, he tries to act like such a, you know, ornery and... He may look like a big bear, but he's, he's just a teddy bear. It's all a facade. The guy's got his heart of gold. He would do anything for anybody. I learned from him something different than the job, that be a, a good person with somebody else. 
he helped me pour my driveway in my house. And day off and Saturday, he show up in my house and helped me pour my concrete. So that talk a lot, a lot about him. He's a good, good friend, good person. So I learned be, be a good, good person with everybody else. So I would ride with him every day and we talked every day and, and uh, that's where I learned a lot of, um, honestly probably where I learned the most was just in those, in those drives. I would have the plans open and would be asking him questions, what does this mean, you know, what, what do we do here and, and he would explain it and it was super beneficial and Steve took the time to work with me and, and honestly to, to train me out in the field and, and uh, it was a great mentor. Um, and I have nothing but the deepest respect for Steve. He's a great guy. There's probably many words that would describe Steve Andrews, but um, loyal would be definitely one of them. I imagine in 40 years of service to one organization, that's probably just like a very, very long marriage at this point. I'm sure there's been great points. I'm sure there's been low points. I'm sure there's been moments he's kind of questioned what he was even thinking, and other moments that he couldn't think of being anywhere else. There's just a handful of guys I can think of in this company who, who have a commitment level like that surpasses what is like normal or required. You know, I think Steve Andrews' projects end up successful uh, because of his of his commitment to the job and his pride, you know, in his own work. Uh, Steve will go above and beyond. Um, you know, to make sure that everything's done correctly, uh, to make sure that everything's in place, you know, for, for equipment startups and stuff like that. He's uh, very smart, you know, Steve knows his wide range of knowledge is unreal from, you got, I know enough to get me dangerous. Steve seems to be able to be productive with electrical and plumbing and instrumentation even the computer programming he's he uh, that stuff comes natural to him it just works and so having him up here on startup is a huge a huge benefit because he's it, it just fits what he does Steve is smart I, I that's one of the things too I admire about him wish I had more of he's technically savvy about things and how they work and and so his strength is in those type in that type of work. Steve gets put on technical projects, for instance, Blue Mountain sewer treatment projects, uh, Geneva Steel. When we was working down there, Steve was down. He was a guy that lined up all the bolts. Steve has a his mind works in great detail, and he can figure things out. If you've got a wiring issue, if you've you've wired something and it doesn't work, he can chase that down. If you've got to lay out uh, big bolts, you know, you've got 80 bolts that you've got to get lined up just right in one big pour because you're going to take a great big piece of equipment and slip them down on. You want Steve doing those bolts because they'll be right. He, he's pretty amazing. So, I mean, I really appreciate that about him, but more than that, it's just, just the friendship, his kindness, and just the goodness. That he, he's just a good man. That's a... It's a hell of an accomplishment. It is. So I'm sorry, Steve. 40 years went fast. So I, I think 40 years, if you asked him, it probably feels like 20. And if you ask him on the wrong day, he probably tells you it feels like 60. It's one of those situations that it's a real testament to somebody's you know, loyalty, honesty, integrity, and just the ability to say, to find something new and fun to keep you coming back day after day. It's not what gets me up in the morning and gets me going. What gets me up in the morning and gets me going is there just seems like there's always something to do. You know, it really doesn't, it doesn't seem like it's been that long. You know, and, and, it, doesn't, and it doesn't seem like it's been that hard. You know, some people will say, you know, how can you, how can you do construction work that long? I don't know, you just get up and you go to work, right? <laughs> Honestly, I'm kind of looking forward to retirement, but I don't know what I'm gonna do. The best way to retire would be to have it so 
you just kind of step back and things just kind of, you know, just kind of blend in and, and within a week they don't even realize you're gone. See, that's what I want.